Good. Okay. Okay, before we take the the test, the final test, just want to just cover really quickly a couple other ways that a few other ways that we use um, different cases that we use the passive voice. So we use it a lot when we're talking about things we're allowed to do or we're prohibited to do, we're forbidden to do, we're expected to do. And so you're going to see a lot of these kind of things. I wasn't allowed to, I wasn't permitted to, he wasn't supposed to, they weren't prohib prohib they were prohibited from doing something. Things like skipping lessons, wearing uniforms, eating in the classroom, um, doing home assignments, arriving at school. These are the kind of things that, again, we use the passive voice. So you can take a look at this slide when you get your packet at home. Okay, so we've covered a lot. We went over just the basics of passive voice in the truest form of passive voice. And then we looked at some other constructions that are passive in meaning but maybe could be causative. So I hope it was a really good review for you and some new things and you can take a look at it a little closer at home. But now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the, the final test. There are nine there are nine questions on the test that you have to choose the right answer for. Um, but before just any last questions, I went through the last things very quickly, I know since we have such limited time. Are there any questions that you have before we go ahead and take? Okay, the test is coming up. For some reason, your test is not. Yeah, maybe I can get a little help from the administrator to, to find. Let me see if I can get the administrator to help us out. Finding the right test. I'm not sure why. 